There is a problem worming its way into one Mississauga neighborhood, and it might make your skin crawl. CTV Sean Lethong is live on White Oaks Avenue near Lakeshore in Southdown. Sean, what's going on there? Well, Zoraida, they have an infestation of canker worms. These little things are about an inch long, and they hang down from the trees. They eat all the leaves, and they get on your clothes. It's a lot to take in, but this area wants something to be done. These tiny little things are a big problem. Canker worms inching ever so slowly, dangling from tree limbs and eating all of the leaves. We have canker worms everywhere, millions and millions of canker worms. Lindell Hastings has lived in Lauren Park for 20 years. Her backyard is full of canker worms and she's never seen anything like it. This was my beautiful honeysuckle covered in leaves a couple of weeks ago and they've stripped it of every leaf. They've absolutely stripped it. Canker worms are normal for this area, but not like this. They seem to cover every tree and find ways on to people. You've got to brush yourself off before you come inside. They're eating the trees, they're eating the vines. They're absolutely ravenous. And true to form, in this backyard, they seem to be everywhere. I hope it will end soon because it's just not pleasant to be outside. When I bring my cup of tea outside, I bring some plastic to cover it with so that they don't fall into it. So when they're not eating all the leaves on the trees, they hang down on these little webs and they can really get in the way, but hopefully the city is coming up with a plan. Well, I'm hoping that in spring 2018, the city will undertake an aerial spraying program. City of Toronto did it in West Toronto just earlier this spring. War 2 Councillor Karen Raz says that for now, the only thing residents can do is endure, which is easier said than done. It's the worst I've ever seen, and for the residents who have been here for 40 some odd years, it's one of the worst times that they've seen as well. Their lifespan is 7 to 10 days, so they hope that they will soon return to the ground only to become moths later. So uh, in the last couple of minutes, I've had to flick a couple off of my shoulders. It's uh, pretty, uh, it can make you pretty paranoid, but uh, Karen Raz says that when they do eventually spray, if they do eventually spray from the air, she says that it's not a chemical, but an organic compound that they will use, and they hope to notify residents before that time. Reporting live from Lauren Park, I'm Sean Lethong. Colin, we'll send it back to you.